क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स वील बी डिस्कसिंग सर्टन डिटेल्स अबाउट पेटी कैश वॉट डज इट एक्जैक्टली मीन हाउ टू प्रिपेयर पेटी कैश वाउचर्स एंड विद सर्टन इलेस्ट्रेशन फॉर योर डेफिनेशन So petty cash is ideally certain predetermined amount of cash that is provided to you for your reference or probably for your expenditure. Now it's a kind of pocket money that has been provided to you. Let's take an example. You are a college-going student and you have been given a pocket money of thousand rupees every week. That means every day you have certain amount out of that thousand to be spent out, which can include your travel expenses, your food expenses. Which is on a daily basis. Now, this specific impressed amount, or probably certain amount that is provided to you at the start of the week itself, that gives you a specified limit. That means you cannot go above thousand rupees a week. Hence, when we talk about petty cash book or probably petty cash, that means these specific transactions or these specific amount is provided for all small transactions or certain recurring transactions which are of nominal value. Hence, when we talk about petty cash, that means we are talking about a certain predetermined amount that is provided to you, so that the specified period can be easily passed out using this specific money itself. So the period can be either for seven days, fifteen days, a month, or something like that. So whenever you have any kind of details about petty cash, that means you are ideally dealing with small transactions which are recurring in nature. Let's understand few more details on this. Now, petty cash is basically a predetermined amount of cash in hand, or probably cash on hand. Now, petty cash is basically a kind of expense, or probably a kind of amount that you can keep to pay out all the expenses, which are like small or nominal value, and gives out easy and quick access. So, it's just like a small pocket money amount that you can keep with yourself, and for your bus travels or for your travel expenses, food expenses, you don't have to look for any kind of amount, or you don't have to figure out where to pay this amount from. You have your petty expenses; you can pay out from the petty cash itself. So, it's a predetermined amount with a specified limit that can be specified or can be further defined to a specific. Kind of tenure itself. Hence, when we talk about specifications, we ideally talk about specified amount and specified period. Hence, the word specified is really important here. Now, such transactions or such methods help you keep track of finances. Hence, when you have a specified limit of one thousand every week, that means you know that you cannot go above thousand rupees. Hence, in a month you will be ending up spending nothing more than four thousand. If there is less spent amount, that means you have additional cash with you. Hence, when you talk about tracking the finances, this is the specific method that can be used for tracking all the finances. This further gives more details on the internal control check. So when you talk about internal control, this basically helps you in solving all your internal control details, or probably when you have to speak about what details you need to maintain to keep a check on the finances that can be tracked internally. So petty cash is one of the method. Now we have different systems to handle a petty cash. We have impress system, analytical system, we have general system. These are the methods of recording the petty cash vouchers, or probably the methods of recording petty cash transactions. However, we have a specific petty cash voucher as well, which will be there in for your reference in the next sheet. However, the details that are supposed to be recorded in a petty cash voucher are given below. Let's go ahead with them. The first one is date. That means the transaction. Or the date of the transaction when it took place, received amount. That means how much amount has been actually received, and according to that, preparation of the voucher details. Narration refers to the kind of transaction expenses that is happening referred to that specific amount. Hence, the amount that has been received and the amount that is going out for any kind of transaction. That narration will be a part of it. Approved and received by. This specification will give you the authority who has signed it. And the amount or the specification who has received it. So both the receiver and the approver is supposed to be a part of this specific voucher. Now let's go on the next sheet and understand how to prepare this specific voucher. After which we'll solve certain illustrations about recording petty cash transactions. Now you have petty cash voucher forms available here. Now this specific voucher is divided into two parts. The first part gives you details about the account number. 
the specific total amount and the account name. However, the second part gives you the details about from whom it has been received and the approver details. So the second part gives you the details about from whom it has been received, the narration about the transaction, approved by and received by details. However, on the left side you have details about the account, the account name and the total amount in both rupees and paise. So these details have been mentioned here. This is a very simple format that you can prepare. However, this is just for your reference. Now we'll further go ahead with the illustration to understand how to prepare a petty cash book. We'll give out two illustrations for your reference so that it will give you better clarity on this. Let's go ahead and note down the first illustration. I'll be writing down certain examples and then we'll prepare the specific recording transactions which will be under the analytical and impress system which is the most common one. Let's prepare that. You can also note down this specific illustration in your notebook so that you can further go ahead and prepare the format and prepare the specifications as per the requirement. Let's go ahead with the illustration first. So we have the first illustration mentioned here. We have to prepare petty cash book for Mrs. ABC Limited. Now we have been given the opening balance that means the petty cash book started with a month balance of 1500 that means for the monthly expenditures we had 1500 with us we had certain transactions that had been done in the month of august and we have to prepare petty cash book for it let's go with the first transaction on 1st of august you spent rupees 40 on postage that is first transaction done there let's go on the second and third transaction on 2nd august you spent 100 on stationery let's go on the third one on 3rd August, you spent 500 on electricity bill. On 10th of August, you purchased certain stamps for rupees 10. On August 15th, you spent rupees 10 for purchase of certain flags. August 20th, you have spent 20 rupees for purchase of pencils. On August 29th, you have spent rupees 200 on travel. Now, if you can see, all these transactions have been jotted down. We have mentioned three categories here the first one being postage the second one being stationary and the third one being miscellaneous now we have already categorized all these transactions under three category we'll go with the first one that means postage which all transactions will be recorded and the postage has been tagged as first transaction so august 1 first transaction goes under postage category august 10 where stamps have been purchased for rupees 10 goes under postage category August 2 where stationery is related to goes under the stationery category. August 20th where we have spent amount of rupees 24 pencils also goes under the stationery category. And the last category that we have is miscellaneous category. Transaction which refers to spending of rupees 500 on electricity bill goes under miscellaneous category. Flags purchase on 15th of August goes under miscellaneous category. And the last transaction that refers to 200 being spent on travel goes under miscellaneous category. Now let's prepare the format that we require to prepare petty cash book transactions recording and then we'll finalize what is the amount that is supposed to be the balance left or if we have to spend certain additional amount which is over and above 1500. We'll figure that out once we prepare the illustration format. Let's go ahead and prepare the petty cash book illustration format. So to start off with, we'll have the opening balance recorded first. That means 1st of August. 1500 is the amount that we had received at the start of the month that means 1st of August and 1st of August also we had a specific transaction let's record that transaction so the first transaction refers to to postage amount that was rupees 40 that has been recorded here let's go ahead and record the transaction on August 2nd Second of transaction or probably second transaction on 2nd of August refers to stationary amount for which we had spent rupees 100 that has been recorded. Now if you can see we are recording the transactions in the amount column also as well as in their individual transaction or the category itself. So this is very important because that will help you to analyze how much amount is going for each and every category. Let's go and record the next transaction. 
The next transaction refers to August 3 where they have spent around 500 for electricity bill. Hence, it will go under the miscellaneous category. The next transaction refers to August 10th where they have made certain purchases of stamp for rupees 10 and that goes under the postage category as discussed earlier. Let's record the next transaction for August 15. We had purchased certain flags for rupees 10 and that has been recorded under the miscellaneous category as we have already categorized them under three categories itself. On August 20th, we had spent certain amount for pencils purchase, which has been recorded under the category of stationery as we have already categorized it under the second category. Hence, 60 rupees in the total amount as well as in the stationery category. Now, the last transaction refers to travel expenses, which is being a part of miscellaneous expenses and the amount of 200 has been mentioned in the total column as well as in the miscellaneous column. Now, let's figure out the total of both the left hand side, that means the amount received and the right hand side, that means the total expenses made. That will help us give, that means if we have any further balance left with us in the petty cash or if we have overspent the amount. Let's figure out the total. So now that you have understand how we have derived the total that means 920 that was the total of all the expenses out of which we have subtracted 1500 that means we still have a balance of 580 rupees left with us that means the balance that can be further moved to the next month balances so we still have to further re-emplish or replenish the balance 980 rupees which has been spent around for the specific transactions that we have done so when we talk about any expenses, the total expenses refers to any kind of impressed system. So when we talk about expenses being reimbursed or replenished, that means the total expenses made in this example will be replenished or reimbursed at the end of the specific month, which will give us the total of 1500 back for the next month. If you also see in the transaction or in the specific sum, we have also totaled the expenses for each and every category postage, stationery and miscellaneous expenses which will give us how much control do we have in each and every category. So if you can see in every specific category we have a total that will give us for better comparison as to previous month whether we have made such kind of transactions for travel, for miscellaneous expenses or if the miscellaneous expenses is going up as compared to the previous month. Similarly postage and stationary can be compared as to the previous month as well and we can set targets that means whether there is any unnecessary or necessary requirement for our any kind of business transactions hence when we talk about any kind of petty cash this is how we prepare it let's go on to the next illustration to have better understanding on this part now we have the second illustration for our reference whereby we have mrs x which is sharing or who is sharing certain details for the month of March 2019. Let's go through all those details. So the opening balance is 1000 rupees. The first transaction refers to purchase of Xerox papers for rupees 200. Second transaction refers to purchase of food coupons for rupees 200. The third transaction refers to purchase of travel coupons for Rs. 300 now and next the fourth transaction. Spent Rs. 200 for stationery that means certain amount has been spent as to Rs. 200 for stationery. Spent 50 for travel via bike. Now all these transactions have been recorded on a specific date. If you can see every transaction has a specific number. one five ten fifteen and nineteen that means those are the dates in the month of march where these specific transactions did take place let's prepare the specific petty cash book and we'll figure out how much balance we have left here let's go with the illustration formatting first now we have recorded the first transaction being the amount received as a piece 1000 that is the opening balance on 1st of March, there was one more transaction where there was specifically, they have mentioned that Xerox papers have been purchased for Rs. 200. We have categorized the specific sum into three categories now. First being stationary, second being the coupons and the third being the miscellaneous expenditures. 
Now we'll go ahead and categorize every transaction under these three categories itself. So the first one being Xerox papers comes under the category of stationery. So let's record that part. The second transaction refers to March 5. Now let's record that transaction. That was referred to, to food coupons and the amount spent was 200. So hence it has been recorded in the total column as well as under the coupons column. Let's record the next transaction for 10th of March. So for March 10th, we have travel coupons which were purchased for rupees 300. Again, categorized under coupons category itself. So total amount will be 300 and coupons category will be 300 again. Let's record the next transaction for 15th of March. 15th of March, we had purchased certain stationery for which we had spent rupees 20 and that goes under the category of stationery. Hence, we have recorded this specific transaction under total amount as well as under the stationery amount. Let's record the last transaction on 19th of March. Now, as this specific transaction refers to travel on bike via 50 rupees and that was on petrol and hence it is going under miscellaneous category. Now that we have recorded all the transactions, let's total up the amount and figure out how much balance we have left or whether we have overspent on the budgeted of rupees 1000 amount. So if you can figure it out, we have spent around 950 rupees for the month of March, whereby we just have a balance left of 50 rupees. And now the amount that has to be replenished or reimbursed by the organization refers to 950. So this is how you prepare a petty cash book. And when you have to understand about how to prepare a petty cash book, you have to further categorize all the transactions referred to this. So this is what we had to discuss about petty cash and cash vouchers. Just to reiterate, when we talk about petty cash, these are the small cash things or the small trifle transactions which appear or which occur every now and then and have a nominal value. Hence, we have a specific lump sum amount which is given or predetermined amount which is given at the start of the month. And out of that, we have to carry forward our expenses. This keeps or helps us in keeping a track on the finances as well as a complete internal control check on all the transactions. Hence, we'll be able to compare, monitor and track all the kind of categories that we have as compared to the previous month. We'll be able to know how much we have already spent and what is the trend on the expenses. So this is what we have to deal about when you have to deal about petty cash and cash vouchers. So thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and keep subscribing to Ikeda.